Welcome to the Gothic Gamer playing World of Tanks. Now, first of all, I just want to get out of the way that I have not been uploading for, oof, I'd say about two weeks now, probably. It feels like two weeks. Um, just want to say that I'm very sorry. Um, I mean, I had Christmas coming up, and well, I really, it's no reason. Uh, but anyway, I better start uploading. Here is me in my late Christmas present, the French Tier 10 Tank Destroyer, the Foch 155. It's a brilliant little beast. Um, it was a painful grind to get it. Um, it's called the Foch, I call it the Foch, because it was a painful grind. I mean, I'm, I'm just showing you um, it's, this, this is a quick clip, um, it just, it shows that on the console version of World of Tanks, people will do anything to get a kill, and this proves it. I'm reloading, I've got a 50 second reload time, so I've got to get out of here, so I better back down the cliff. Now I've got, a, I've got a friendly tank down here, looks like an E75. What's the worst that's going to happen? Is this T57 heavy actually? Is he gonna? No, he's not going to drop. No, he's not going to drop down. And he's just been tracked. I have 10 seconds left. Am I going to get the kill? Or is he going to repair his tracks and is he going to back off? Is he going to back off? No, he's not. And bang. Oh, I just took a shot from the ice out. Now, the T-57 Heavy didn't go down. But look who decides to. Any second now. Wait for it. Here we go. A mouse. how much your team is losing so you decide to go full Rambo like this I mean I can't do anything about it I mean yeah I just penetrated a mouse in the front gun mantle it yeah that actually just happened and the mouse didn't even get the kill that's that's the funny part to me you drop down the cliff kill a Fosh 155 and you don't get the kill. This game, uh, what, I'm, what I'm gonna call the cream of the crop, really. This is possibly the best ever game I've had on World of Tanks so far. Um, it, it, it sort of just shows that the Fosh 155, when played properly, it can change the course of a battle. Um, so here I am. I'm heading over to the uh, southwestern corner of the map, you know, because I'm a tank destroyer, I'm just going to snipe. Oh, I'm already detected, someone shoots me. Now, there's a Waffen Dragger up there. There's also a Rhine Metal. So we'll just help the IS-3 take down the Rhine Metal. Another thing is not to underestimate the Fosh 155, even if you're a Waffendrager. You have more rounds, the Waffendrager can easily kill me, but... This is what happens when you believe too much in uh, your gun. So, that bounces. He penetrates, I penetrate. He penetrates. He penetrates. I kill. And you see how much health he's dropped me down to in two mi less than two minutes. I'm nearly dead already. So here I am thinking, oh, here we go. It's going to be a short game. I'm reloading. By the time I finish reloading, I poke out. I'm going to die. Not necessarily.
Okay, so that IS-3 has just died. E-100. Let's see if I can get some shots on the E-75s. Oh. Missed the Centurion, bounced the E-75. That missed. Oh, let's go for this guy. <laughs> there we go. Damages tracks. 820 damage. Roughly. And we've just lost another tank. So we're 3-2 three three down. And I'm, I've got 30 seconds to reload. Still got to change the course of the battle. Still waiting. It's a boring job being a high tier French tank when you're reloading. It's quite boring, but then again it does give you plenty of time to like drink something or eat chili con carne. Okay, so four, three, two, one, and we loaded. Uh, let's just drop this conqueror down. Like so, there we go. Two shots. Fosh, one by five, kills the Conqueror. One round left. Should I reload? Should I not reload? Oh, let's just take a gamble. Let's gamble. And it paid off. 788 damage on the E75. And now, well. As I'm a respectful team player sometimes, when I'm in a good mood, I say I'm reloading. So, oh, four, six, four down now. Still waiting to change the course. Oh, here we go. Artillery is fired. Yeah, we had the Batshat 1558. He was a very good artillery player, in my opinion. Very good. It's just a shame that I am... Um, didn't help him when he came under attack. But I'm going to say that when I killed his killer, that was retribution and a half. Okay, now we're 8 6. This is where it can easily get ugly for us. Object 704 is on the verge of death as well as me. Oh, E75. No, it's not going to poke out. And the gun bag and E100 bags himself in the tank. So we're 9 6 now. And I've got a full clip. It just it's just where am I gonna put them? Which tanks am I gonna put them on? Here I am thinking, don't get spotted, don't get spotted, don't get spotted, you'll get hit by artillery if you get spotted, don't get spotted. Now there's an E seventy five here. I think he knows I'm coming. And because I've got low health, he's going to think he's going to kill me. So, he misses. I bounce. He thinks, oh, okay. Yep, that's, uh... Now, this is where I think I'm going to die. But then, the bat shot saves me. Good shot. And then there's another one. Another bat shot shot. And then this just breaks my heart. He's reloading. That's that. That's pretty much it. 70 seconds. Oh, Centurion. Oh. I remember that, that Centurion. It was a pain in the ass. I thought he was going to spot me for artillery. Because he could have killed me. Oh, it's Conker. Oh. Oh, okay. Blow his tracks off it, 704, destroy them for me. That's good. Oh, aim at 5120. Oh, God. Coming from behind. 
Wind Conqueror at the front, Gun Wagon E100 at the north, and there's still a T69 out there. And that's the last thing I want, is to get rushed by a T69. I'm just thinking, oh, oh wait, yeah, artillery's in trouble. If that, that 5120 would not be reloading if he was rushing artillery. And the Conqueror bags the 704, so I've got no choice but to go for the Conqueror. Here I am thinking, we can still win. I've got three rounds. If that bat shot reduced the AMX 5120 to a, enough health where I could one shot him, then we could be in with a chance, but the Conqueror damages my tracks, I blow up the Conqueror. AMX 5120 nails the bat shot. So now it's just me. Moment of glory. And I somewhat, part of me tells me, in my opinion, that I screwed it up. But this was for the bat shot. That was for the bat chat. And then my dreams are crushed. He bounces. Artillery does not. That's it. So, uh... Yeah, so, um... That was the cream of the crop match for me. <laughs> um... And this... I, I had I just had to share this post battle screen. This is probably the best battle, post battle screen that I've ever seen in my World of Tanks history. I mean, come on, eight thousand damage dealt, mastery badge, ace tanker, demolition expert, two thousand four hundred damage blocked, oh just under fourteen hundred damage assisted. Ah. Oh. It's, it's, uh, I, don't, I, I, I don't even want to leave it here, to be honest. I mean, this is probably the best tier 10 tank so far for me. Um, so I'll probably have some more videos up. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to end this video here, I'm afraid. I am going to ha wish you guys a happy new year. Um, I hope 2016 is an even better year for you guys. Um, I, I certainly hope it will be better for me. And uh, I will see you guys in the new year slash next video.